happy, Chinese, happy Chinese New Year. You know, today is a Chinese celebration, and uh, you guys uh, take the Chinese jersey. What does it mean for you guys? Uh, celebrating, you know, like you said, Chinese New Year, Chinese culture, um, and how, how much the game is growing uh, in China. So to uh, have an opportunity to wear a jersey like that and to commemorate the day, um, it's pretty special. Steph, with the uh, intensity, the chippiness, the crowd, does it kind of feel like a playoff game tonight? The last two games have, uh, I think, with our intentions and intensity, like you said, and um, everybody understanding kind of the, the season that we're in right now with these last 20 or so games. So to kind of uh, play the way we did with that aggressive aggressiveness, <clears throat> you know, play a solid, I think, our, pretty much our, our best probably 48-minute effort <clears throat> when it comes to sticking to our details and uh, just sticking to the program. We, we played played a solid game tonight. Defensively, we were, we were amazing. Clay was <clears throat> awesome on the perimeter. Uh, you know, Draymond doing what he does. Andre came in, gave us an amazing lift and great minutes, and obviously what Nick did on, on, on the offensive end, knocking down a big shot. So just a, uh, a solid performance. You have so many Chinese friends all over the world, and this game is to celebrate the Chinese New Year. At this time of the year, do you have anything you want to say to the, your Chinese supporters and fans? I mean, we appreciate you know their support, and uh, every time you know we we obviously went to China in October, and I go every summer, and so to. Uh, kind of bridge that gap and continue to spread the game of basketball and the joy of basketball. Um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a great thing, and uh, we feel that, that love and that support every time we go there. So hopefully they, uh, uh, the fans there know how much you know, we appreciate that, that support. Stephen, you guys, uh, the last couple of games, appear to have a different mentality, a different aggression. Maybe that wasn't there so consistently before the All-Star break. Uh, how much of that is knowing that, okay, this is the stretch run and this time of the year and, and just wanting to button things up as you go toward the playoffs? It's everything. Um, I mean, it, we've done enough this season to put ourselves in a <clears throat> pretty good position uh, going down the stretch to chase that number one seed. But it really doesn't matter what's happened up until the, you know pre-All-Star break, to be honest. It's, you know, looking ahead um, – like we've talked about bringing you know, up in our intensity, up in our focus, understanding what's going to make us a uh, a force in the playoffs and, and chasing the championship. So every game we have an opportunity to put a penny in the jar and uh, get a little bit better and understand what it means to uh, play playoff type basketball and, and grind out wins. Uh, I say that as it was a big, you know, Point difference tonight, but we had to grind it out over the course of 48, and, and that's uh, that's what it's about. How would you grade Nick Young's uh, shimmy in the corner tonight? Uh, 10 out of 10. I, I you obviously love when he when he gets it going. <clears throat> um, him hitting a buzzer beater, he had plenty of time to to do it. He'd have to get back on defense. And Nick pretty much credited his performance to his outfit. I just wondered. That, that's <laughs> awful. That is awful. I just wondered. Have that you is awful. have you ever heard or seen anything like that? Uh, he's had some. We know he he has a flair for the the outlandish, if you will. But uh, I thought he was delivering packages in there, uh, as opposed to stuff. Uh, he would say something like that to try to to try to validate his his outfit. Uh, it, it, Uh, he he struck out on that one for me, but whatever makes him whatever makes him a you know knock down shots I guess St stay true to swag swaggy P.